All right, I'd like to attempt to pull an image into Autodesk Inventor. We'll start with a new file, a standard IPT, and create. All right, let's put a sketch on, and I want to work off my front view, which is this plane. If I click it, and I need to give a rectangle. And I'm going to dimension that at six inches in both directions. Say so finish sketch, hit home on the keyboard, extrude, and just say okay to that. If I click this surface and click the look at icon, put another sketch on top of this one. Now, I can go ahead and insert various things. I can insert an AutoCAD file, I can insert a spreadsheet, or I can insert an image. I want to insert an image. Here I have a butterfly off of clip art. If I click it one time and hit escape, without hitting escape, I'm going to put multiple butterflies on that, on that screen. If I click the corner, I can enlarge it and drag it to the center of the screen. Now what I want to do is go all the way around this butterfly by tracing it. So if I go to arc, three points, going to click two places and then come back to the middle and then whenever I get a green dot that means I'm at the end of that connected line here here and bring it on out also if you take your roller mouse and you hold it down you can pan you mash it down right here and I can move around on the screen and zoom in or whatever I need to do. Green light to here. Now the more, or actually I should say the smaller your radius, the better quality you're going to have. But for time's sake, I'm just going to kind of do it in a fast fashion. Say so okay to that. Go to a straight line. Zoom in here to here to here. Say okay. And go back to my three point arc. this will work. Now I'm going to go ahead and come in with a straight line. Back to a three-point arc. Zoom in a little tighter. mouse OK and back to a straight line again.
just about around the butterfly. You can see I'm not getting it exactly perfect, but as long as everything's connected. And that'll give you the general idea. Okay, right mouse, finish the sketch. Let's take it to an isometric view. Say okay. And we're going to extrude that butterfly. It came off in this direction. I want to go the other direction, distance all, cut, and okay. Now, if I look at it on my front view, then it's cut all the way through. Everything's connected. So now I can go ahead and take that to a new file. We can take it to an IDW file and we can create that. Go to base view. We need to leave this at one to one. Oh, we got to say it says we need to save it first. I'm getting ahead of myself. Go back to part one and save as and butterfly save now new IDW create base view pulls it straight in notice right here it says scale one to one that's very important if you plan on um, bringing it into plasma cam later. Right mouse and OK. Now if I go to File, hover over Save As, and go to Save Copy As, I can save it as a DXF file, which means I can now take this to the CNC machine and engrave it if I wanted to. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching.